Well, good day, YouTubers, friends, and family from across the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on February 23rd, 2019. Welcome to another surviving day on this planet. Welcome to another video from Morning Dew. Getting your daily dew, and today we're going to start out with the next 10 days for snowfall amounts. And very interesting indeed, we've still got massive amounts of snow falling. Sierra Nevada, California, Mount Shasta area. They're going to be expecting over 240 centimeters of snow over the next 10 days. Those are the largest snow totals in the world right now. It says here 258 in some areas. But as we go looking around the world, the next 10 days for forecasted snowfall, that is the largest amount in the world. So the most snow is falling in the Rocky Mountains right now. We've got such huge weather patterns that have changed. And look at massive snow amounts here, Mongolia mountains, higher elevations, still not even close to the snow totals that are to be expected. California mountains, Washington, Rockies. We've had avalanche warnings across the Rockies since fall we had a lot of early snowfall before winter even started so we've had avalanche warnings in jasper uh, sunshine village um, throughout bc washington mount shasta atmospheric compression events that is what ha what is happening we have a collapsed magnetosphere so our low pressure systems have a deeper lower level trough and they're staying stronger and they're producing more rain. We've got El Nino in the mix as well in the Pacific Ocean. So as we watch in the five day forecast, you're gonna see still a deluge of moisture being pumped into the Rockies over the next few days as that low pressure system just kind of spins around and then heads north but also watching this large low pressure system that's going to be affecting eastern canada with blizzard like conditions on the backside and a lot of rain ahead of it and of course mixed precipitation in the middle calgary and throughout western alberta and southern Alberta, we're going to be dipped into the minus 20s again for the next five days. We just got a fresh five centimeters of snow last night, and we can expect at least 10 more or in the coming days as that large high pressure polar vortex moves in and sends a lot of cold air on the backside of this large low, which is now heading to Greenland. And it's a very large storm, so we're going to be watching this one indeed. It could have hurricane force winds lashing Greenland and Iceland. So watch for an extreme weather event, Greenland, Iceland, from this large Atlantic low. And still overlooking Europe, high pressure ridge involved, very dry. And then watch for the large low pressure system from the north Atlantic head into Russia later in the week. Typhoon Wutin, a very small and tightly whipped storm, but was packing a punch days ago, is diminishing. Same with Cyclone Oma, who headed back out to sea and now is heading north towards Caledonia again, that is the same low pressure system, Cyclone Oma. And then we do have another area of interest right here over Vanuatu, a very large low pressure system will be heading south. And across South America, watch for torrential downpours in the coming days as well, throughout Argentina, Chile mountains, and towards Peru. But yes, we're having extreme weather events across the planet and the United States to, seems to be 
at the brunt of it right now with all the flood warnings, tornado warnings from these large, deep lower level trough, low pressures. This is our last seven days overlooking North America. You can see on the left side there, that deep low coming from the north and is now going to quickly move northeast towards Ontario, bringing a lot of rain and snow on the backside as that high pressure polar vortex comes from Alberta. You're welcome. <laughs> I wanna thank everybody for watching today. We're also going to have a look at our sun. I haven't shown the sun the last few days, but this, uh, well, I did, the other day I showed this fiery sunspot. It wasn't even a sunspot. It kind of looked like something literally punctured the sun. Something hit the sun. And it is still spewing out the whole... Now, I'm no scientist. I didn't see what happened. It was on the backside when it came around. But it's got a coronal hole around it. And also a large filament eruption. See those huge plasma filaments? very interesting indeed. I'd love to see our stereo be behind the sun. See what's going on behind there. Very cool images here. We're going to get to earthquakes now. The last 24 hours for earthquakes, we've had an increase in seismicity around Yellowstone. So please stay aware and prepared. Salmon, Idaho, 3.3. Green River, Wyoming, 3.1. 2.9 as well, 2.7 here in Julian, California. So we're definitely seeing an uptick. Cascadia Fault Line, Yellowstone, and San Andreas. South America still seeing some pretty sizable earthquakes. They had a 5.0 here in Argentina, as well as the 4.1 in Chile. Yesterday they had 7.5. Here we had 5.5 in the Mid-Atlantic Ridge. Pretty rare spot for earthquakes. 4.2 in Greece. And yeah, still earthquakes going off in Greece. Mount Edna still getting alerts and warnings. 5.0 here in Tobilo, Indonesia. As well as a 4.9 in Subic, the Philippines. Anwar. Indonesia as well, 4.1, but it seems to move north to Japan and then on to Russia and Alaska, moving east to our quiet zone, hence the uptick in seismicity, so stay aware and prepared. Cascadia Fault Line Subduction Zone, this is the last seven days for earthquakes. I want to thank you for watching today. Don't forget to say hi in the in the comment section. Just scroll down there. Say hi to Mike from Morning Dew. There's a lot of great friends and family from around the world that get into the comment section. So please hit it up. Thanks for watching today. This is Mike with Morning Dew. Daily events worldwide. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your morning dew. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world. Thank you.